Oh, there's another big one. What's up? On the Parramatta River today, fishing with surface lures. Overcast, as you can see, and over tied down over here. Starting off with this little walker here. Slippery dog in orange. It's a great little location. A lot of boat craft, ferries, mixes up the nearby water here. So there's always plenty of food washing over. So you're gonna basically just stake out the spot like this. Gear-wise, to you throw these little lures, you don't need much, you only need your brim gear. Orange color, very good for overcast condition. And I've just used a really light, flexible rod. This is my Gecko, one to three pound. It's an edging rod and a 2000 reel. All right, big, long cast. They hit the water and the splash is just right out there. Hey, little back, by the way. Yeah, there's heaps of them out far. They look there. You can see them all busting up, yeah. See the, um, yeah. What color is that? It looks mad. Hoko, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Hoko. Duo. Three puffers and a brim. <laughs> the brim's underneath, the two puffers on the side. Pausing, I'm just keeping it moving so it knows that it's alive still. Kind of just moving them on the spot. I'm getting out, I'm getting out. That's alright, it's not massive, it's not massive. I doubt it's massive. It could be a brim. good is it good well it's better than what we've been getting mm. could be a brim yeah oh rubbing me bugger it's trying to take you in it's brim oh, no. heaps of pausing huh very nice yeah there's a good hook up this one on the brim <laughs> neat little bream ball on the, the that slippery dog there wasn't getting away Pop and pop. And this way to the water. Oh, I'm trying to slip it in. Slip in. You just not see me. Oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. There he goes. That was a mullet, I think. That was a big hit you got. Yeah. Yeah, that one moved a lot of water. Oh. It's got a good hit there, but small. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just trying to pause it now, see if we can get a big fish out of this. The constant retrieve gets the small ones. And then just walk it and pause. It's up to you if you want to do three twitches, four twitches, five twitches, and then pause. You can even keep it moving. It just makes the lure dart side to side. Yeah, straight away. Yeah, you're right. They're hungry because we left them alone. Oh, that was a good one. It pulled it. No, 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 it's not. It's not a good one. It's probably a foul hook. Yeah, it just felt like heaps of weight. Yeah. Oh man, With these hordes of chopper Taylor moving into the area, it was time to move on. Ooh, really close. Really close. Yeah, that reef is. If you can cast next to that rock. Oh. I think it's a Taylor though. Some big smashes, but they're Taylor. I think I'm calling it Taylor. Yeah, it came off. I think it was Taylor. Yeah, we dropped that fish, but you can see why. That treble destroyed. This treble mangled. So we're just going to do a little bit of a dodgy. See if I can just bend it back. All right. This is a case of Goldilocks principle. Too much and it snaps. Too little and you're not getting that correct shape. There we go. That's it. Look at that. Perfecto. Perfect. Now here we go. Back in action. Whoa! Yeah! That has to be Taylor. You just kept going at it. And we'd be right. Chop it, Taylor. Chop it because if you put your finger in there, it's gonna chop it right off. It'll attack us. See you later. I just turned back and I saw the splash, so it has to be a brim that close. With that much pausing. Can't be anything else. Yeah. These Taylor spitting out all kinds of food items. There we go. See you later. Yeah, that was a school of Taylor. All right. I think we've had enough of this target practice. Oh, perfect. Yeah, that's where you want to cast. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What happened? Oh, there. Little slurp to... Yeah, oh. You got it? Yeah, I think that's... Could be a brim. Yeah, little yeah. brim. Yeah, keep casting. 
<laughs> Little baby. Baby, bring him. All right. Hand that was a handful, but he's off. Did I say elf or off? <laughs> That's a good cast, yeah. Yeah! That's a tailor, I think, bro. That's all right. Well, you're on, though. Taylor brim. Well, you're on. That's the main thing. So we found the brim, but not at the right sizes. The search continues. A few moments later. Should be a drop, yeah. Oh, I finally got a hit. Yeah, 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 yeah. It could be Taylor, though. Oh, yeah, good hit. Oh, bro. I don't know. The first few were Taylor, that, was, that one was it, yeah. That last one was a good hit, man. Whatever that was, that was a good fish. That could be, yeah, that could be it. Look, there's more boils. I think they're boils. Hot on the trail. All right, let's just step across one, two. Solid footing there. All right, that's where we are. Let's go get my rod. Oh, wrong, let's go down. What was it? I got a good hit. Yeah. It's definitely a brim. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. That was a brim, man. Dude, you didn't even see it, eh? Yeah, no. Nah. He pulled me at the start. Yeah. And then, um, he pumped me just then. On the... What was that? Really brim, it's probably brim. Probably good brim. Really big swipe. Was oh no. It's a wise minnow. I have a pretty light drag on because it protects my leader knot. Because in my haste, I tied an all bright knot. There's a massive brim under it. Massive. Massive. Yeah, massive. Yeah, there, he's still there. He's just right there. <laughs> he just kept watching it the whole time. That's incredible, man. Oh, there's another big one. There's lots of big ones, bro. Following it? No, they're just here, next to it. They're not following it, but they're next to it. Oh, they're mullet. Oh, they look massive. No, they're massive mullet. No, I thought that they were big brim. See it? Yeah, this one. Yeah, this one's giving me a good fight. Might pop my Albright knot. I don't have faith in this knot. Oh, it's wrapped me around something. Oh, he's back out, he's back out. Yeah. This one's a good one. If I can get it, I don't know if I can. I don't have faith in this knot, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of letting it kind of struggle a bit out there. I can see it there. I don't think it's hit the middle hook. I think it's just hit the end. I think it's just hit the end, so I don't know if, how good of a hookup that is. And these hooks are very, they're sharp, but they bend easy. There's one that log, there's a log there. Just gotta keep his head up. He's, yeah, he's slowly coming done here. He's just kicking. He's got heaps of fight, man. Heaps. Oh, and I stepped in a puddle. Yeah, I'll let you grab the rod. Whoa, almost fell in the water. Oh, shrimp in the barra. Yeah! Oh. Ooh, I dropped him, but lucky I dropped him in this puddle. Yes! Oh, that's not a bad one. That's a good fish. That's a good. Not a bad day's work. That was, oh, that was real lucky, man. We saw it too hanging around. Yeah. Well, wow, big flops. I don't know how big this one is. I haven't put it on the mat. It turned out to be 40 centimeters to the tip. Big, big fat one on the, on the tiny skinny lure. I actually measured this one, came 40 on the tape. Stoked as. 
What a fish. And on top too. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button. And this next video has an even bigger brim. Watch this next. With a little less plastic.